Hey friends, it's Rabbi Jenny Solomon at Beth Meyer Synagogue, here with a Mincha moment on this week, Parshat Va'era. We are deep into the Exodus narrative. Uh, this is the climactic moment of the story when God unleashes um, the 10 plagues that befall the Egyptians um, that ultimately result in the Israelites' freedom, redemption, moving out of Egypt and towards the Promised Land. But one of the things that comes up numerous times in this week's Torah portion is the idea of Pharaoh's heart hardening, the hardening of Pharaoh's heart. And a couple of different words um, are used in Hebrew to describe this hardening. Sometimes um, the, it's described as Pharaoh's heart hardening, as if hardening itself on its own. Sometimes Pharaoh hardens his heart. Um, and sometimes, actually, perhaps the most theologically complex is that there are instances in which God hardens Pharaoh's heart. So there's a lot to say about this. But I really wanted to bring our attention in this moment of pause just to the experience of a heart that has the capacity to harden. You know, all of our hearts um, are moved and are moving um, by external circumstances, by internal circumstances, by its own sort of reflexive motion, moment to moment. So that same, those same processes that we see happening to Pharaoh's heart are happening to our own hearts, moment to moment, breath to breath. And one of the things that we practice in Jewish spirituality, first of all, is just noticing um, with a quality of honest looking and clear seeing, a quality of emet, um, what's happening to our heart? What's the quality of our heart? And then um, we try to work with our capacity for chesed, to incline ourselves towards compassion and love and kindness as we experience the inevitable movements of the heart. And sometimes those movements are incredibly obvious, um, right? The moments that we feel panicked, the moments that we feel angry and, um, and indignant, the moments that we feel deep love and softness and compassion. There's so many um, extreme ways that we can notice the quality of our heart. But more often in my own experience, it's very subtle. And so stopping, for example, to, um, to pray, to, to meditate, to move on your mat, whatever, however you want to move in, in a contemplative and spiritual way, whatever your practice is, is an opportunity to just notice again with that quality of emet, of truth, um, and then to practice inclining ourselves towards chesed, whatever the state of our heart may be. One of the things that I find just endlessly um, moving and true and important to remember is that this movement of the heart is constant. It's always changing. Sometimes I can't believe that um, I ever felt, I'll remember back to a moment when I was just unbelievably angry or hurt. Um, or a moment when I was ecstatically joyful. And I can't believe um, that it ever felt like that, whatever that is. Because the, the heart continues to move and change. There's a beautiful line in... Um, Ezekiel that says, um, that God says, Natati lechem lev chadash veruach chadasha. I've given you, um, a new heart and a new ruach, a new spirit, a new breath. Breath and spirit in this case being the exact same word. And so for me, pausing, um, in this case, in this afternoon, is an opportunity just to note that a new breath and a new heart are there moment to moment. 
that whatever was the state of my heart literally one moment ago, it's changed. And uh, that's one of the miracles of being human. So however your heart is, I invite you and I join you in noticing the truth in this moment and attempting to hold that truth with some compassion, knowing that moment to moment, just like Pharaoh, it will change. Shalom, peace.